Ever since the delay hit for Halo Infinite, 343 has been near radio silent in terms of meaningful Halo Infinite news. So has this killed the hype for the game completely, or are we just in a lull until we start getting news again? That is the question that we are going to tackle in this video. So before we jump in, let's just do a quick recap of kind of what's gone on with Halo Infinite over the past 6 months to a year. So as you are all probably aware, Halo Infinite was slated to release for holiday season of this year in 2020, and one could easily argue that the date would have been November 10th, as this was the launch of the Xbox Series X, since Halo Infinite was supposed to be a launch title. As we move through the year, on July 23rd, 2020, we got an 8 minute gameplay reveal, which showed Master Chief kind of just running through part of a campaign level, along with some cutscenes. After this reveal though, 343 was met with a lot of backlash for various different things, and eventually on August 11th of the following month, 343 came out and said that the game was indefinitely delayed. Since then, the official news for Halo Infinite consists of toys and brand deals. These brand deals specifically led to the community in a fury about the idea of armor coatings, so 343 did put out a blog post in response, which to be honest didn't really clear all that much up. Besides that, there is an upcoming news drop sometime this month according to 343, and rumors. Oh boy, lots of rumors. While I'm not going to specifically address every single rumor that has come out, I am going to mention a couple that I find most relevant to this discussion. So now that we kind of have that quick recap out of the way, let's just jump into the intricacies of this idea. First and foremost, let's start by making it clear. Halo Infinite and Halo as a large is definitely in a lull, and the interest toward the game is probably at an all-time low, as fans and even some of the big YouTubers and streamers that you probably follow are honestly just fed up and tired of waiting. Now that said, one thing that I think is very important is that these people expressing displeasure toward the situation, or even just YouTubers and streamers branching out into other games, are your most hardcore fans, and the ones that are most plugged into the Halo ecosphere. For every one of us that reads all the 343 dev posts and watches every video and reads every tweet and tracks down every rumor that comes out about Halo, there are way more just casual Halo fans that maybe occasionally play the game or maybe they're just off doing other things not really thinking about Halo all that much other than in passing. However, once Halo news does start coming out, once we start seeing gameplay footage, a new release date, more cinematics, etc., those people will take notice. This is pretty easy to prove because just look back at Twitter when we had the gameplay reveal, once again Halo was a huge discussion point for tons of people. Now I understand part of that was negative, but it is clear that when there are things to talk about related to Halo and Halo Infinite, people do come out and do it. Halo as a franchise still holds a ton of name value, and that alone is going to capture the attention of many once it gets moving. Another reason that I would say points pretty clearly to the hype being able to be revived as soon as we start getting actual news is just all the different leaks and rumors that we've seen. Regardless of what the leak is or the rumor is, it always ends up making the rounds on social media. Whether it's a Halo Battle Royale being discussed for the thousandth time, or it's a mocap artist saying that the game is going to come out in the spring, to even the recent Halo Fortnite collaboration. Which if you missed this, there are some leaks showing various Halo skins being added into Fortnite, including the Master Chief himself. Now supposedly these leaks are confirmed true, although I'm going to be honest, I haven't traced down the leaks to confirm for myself, so take that with a grain of salt if for some reason they aren't actually real. Regardless though, if these leaks are true, and hell, maybe the Fortnite skins are even out before I finish this video. Lots of people continue to discuss these things, and this is just skins in another game or really vague rumors about release dates and different game modes. Just wait until the actual news starts flowing out, the hype's going to be back and Halo will be on the minds of many. Not to mention, we're also going to see a huge marketing push for this game once it kicks into gear. Regardless of your thoughts of the recent Halo games or the franchise as a whole, one thing is clear, and that is currently still the face of the Xbox brand for Microsoft. Is that something that's solidified forever? I don't know, but it's clear it's still the case because Master Chief himself is on the box for the console and in ads for the console and the game's not even out yet. They're going to put big bucks behind the marketing campaign for this game and it will get people excited from all over, whether they're people that have been actively involved in Halo in the past couple years or people that haven't paid attention to Halo in years. I did make a previous video about this where I talked about how I hate that all the Halo Infinite news is related to brand deals and toys, and that is still 100% the case. I would much rather talk about tangible features of the game and analyze gameplay footage, but here's the thing, it kinda just is what it is. 343 has a plan, and whether we agree with it or not, as fans, it honestly doesn't matter. We can armchair dev all we want and ask for Halo Infinite news all we want, but the truth is it's just gonna come out when it comes out. 
Hopefully the news drop this month is really informative and we get tons of things to discuss, but honestly, I bet it's going to be pretty high level with maybe a few screenshots and a few clips. So I don't really know if this is going to be the news drop and the information that the community is asking for. However though, I want to go on the record and say that the hype for Halo Infinite will come back in full force. It may be down at the moment due to the lack of news, but Halo isn't a franchise Microsoft is going to let limp out of the gate. It's going to get that huge push with tons of dollars behind it, and once the information is there, people are going to discuss it and there will be hype about it. Now I should note, none of this guarantees anything about the game other than on launch, it's going to be big. I fully believe on launch, Halo Infinite's going to see the most players Halo has ever seen, and this is due to a variety of factors. You have free to play multiplayer, which is going to allow way more people to play the game on launch. You also have the Game Pass, which is going to allow people to play the campaign if they own the Game Pass, which is different than in the past where they had to buy a $60 game. You also have the console and PC release at the same time, which is going to be huge because now you have two completely different sets of players that are going to be able to play the game and just the overall growth of gaming since the last time a Halo game came out. All of this combined and probably some other factors is going to lead to a very, very big day one player count. The real test for 343 and for Halo though is six months plus down the line. Are players going to stick around and stay engaged with Halo Infinite or will they move on to other games like we've seen happen to high profile games time and time again? While Hyperscape isn't some ginormous IP, it is a free-to-play battle royale that launched earlier this year backed by Ubisoft, and to be honest, regardless of what you think about the game, it has totally fizzled out. Anthem is another obvious example in somewhat recent memory, so while I do think that the hype for Infinite will be back in full force once we start getting news, it's not guaranteed long-term success or even short-term success outside of the launch of the game. As always, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. If you want to see me get mad at Halo or stream some Halo, you can come over and catch me on Twitch. And if you just want to see things that I tweet from time to time, you can follow me over on Twitter. With that said, I'll see you all next time.